game is long on excitement. This is a hard surface and it looks to me as if it'll have even bounce and good carry through to the wicketkeeper. I'd be batting first if I won this toss. This is a batsman's pitch. I'm amazed that he's chosen to bowl first. It's firm, there's no real covering of grass, I think the bounce will be even. It's good to have you back with us. You would agree, I think, that the first half of this match has been an absolute ripper to watch. I know Richie's been excited by it, and it's Richie who picks up commentary now. Well, he hardly seemed to hit it, and it's six. Oh, excellent bowling. It's straight and it's full, and in the end, you miss, buddy, and I'll hit. That nearly joined us up here in the commentary box. Super shot. What super stroke. Do you know, I didn't think that was a bad ball either. Facing is Michael Ball. The bowling side are now allowed more players outside the ring as the fielding restrictions have been lifted. That's up. I don't know whether he just lost the line of the ball or something, but I mean it's gone through Baton Pad and done it easily. And facing now is Andrew Strauss. There'll be bruises to show after this encounter, plenty of them. came right off the middle of the bat. Oh, another one of those, and this bowler will be out of the attack. He has smashed that a long, long way. That is great to watch for the neutral, not so good for the bowler. Miles, he's hit it, Miles! There it goes, right out of the ground. That's in the stands. Six runs. Oh, the bowler won't like that. This is exciting stuff. It doesn't matter if it's in the air when you hit it that far. And they've wrapped up this limited overs fixture with a great win. They came into the game well prepared and ready to produce the goods, and that's exactly what they did. Well, on behalf of Richie Beno and myself, we bid you a very good evening, and we'll see you next time for more of our very...